Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review and what's in my bag on my Kipling Sugar in Black. Uh, right off the bat I want to apologize if there's any background noise. Um, things are a little bit crazy right now so I apologize if some background noise picks up in the video. But uh, yeah, so this is the Kipling Sugar Satchel. When I was doing research on this bag for this video, I found that there are a couple different iterations of this bag, and I think this one is the original iteration because it seems to have a few features that the newer version, which I don't own, has. I, I just realized from looking at the different pictures between this one and the newest version, um, there are some differences, and I will just address those uh, as we're going through. Also off to the side, I have, and you might be able to see if I pan the camera this way, I have some of my most favorite Kipling bags and satchels off to the side, and they are fully packed. I just went ahead and took stuff um, directly out of my large Vera tote and stuffed all of those because I do want to do a like size comparison. I think it really helps when you're able to see the bag that I'm using compared to other bags and also I do have the measurements of this bag because it looks really tiny but when you turn it to the side and then look at the bottom this has a ton of capacity so the measurements for this are 10.25 inches long so this way 6.75 inches high and the base is six inches in diameter, so going this way. So this is a hefty bag. It, you know, you look straight on to it and it looks tiny, but it actually fits a ton of stuff. You will be surprised at everything I have in here. So um, let's get started. So we will go through like the features and everything like that. Also, I wanna make a note, this black webbed cotton Kipling strap is the strap that I use on all of my other Kipling bags. That either didn't come with the crossbody strap or if I just want to use a black strap this is the one that I take off and this is the one that is original to this style and just a little bit on my look the background of this uh, style I've had this since the beginning of June of this year so months later I'm doing a video on this the reason why I didn't do a video on this months ago is because I did use it as so I washed it and then used it as soon as I got it but then we went on like a short vacation and I ended up using another Kipling bag for that one and I just kind of put this away and it was in the back of my storage bin and so all this time went by and as I was organizing things yesterday I pulled this out and I was like oh uh, wait a second I used this like two times and I love this bag so I need to use it again and this is actually a really popular Kipling style that they brought back I think at least one or two times and yeah so We'll just go down through the features and what's in my bag. So you'll see that this bag is a little bit wrinkly. It is pre-loved. I did buy it used off of Mercari. And these are, the, the original versions are tricky to find. When I did the research back, you know, months and months ago too, I realized the difference between the old one and the new ones. And I really wanted an old one. And the reason why I wanted the old one is because it's got these two extra slip compartments on the outside of the bag, which I really, really like. And the newer versions do not have these two extra compartments. So, sorry, it's a little bit dark. Just kind of face it towards the, the light there. So yeah, that's what I realized about the newer version. It does not have this compartment or this compartment. And the cool thing about this older sugar is that there are extra pockets built within each of these compartments. So we do have, you know, this the standard, at least the standard of the time, Kipling logo with the rubber. I do notice with the newer bags that they're making, they don't do the logos like this anymore. They're just uh, like the embossed. And these are actually, these are rubber. The newer ones are kind of like a pleather, which I don't like as much. I do like these these, um, I don't really know the, the term, of, you know, what the, the way they made this, but I really like this version better. Um, nothing on the, this part of the back here. And you'll see how this, the crossbody strap attaches. We've got one attachment in the front and then the other 
side of the strap attaches in the back. So it's one of those deals. Typically, that's not my favorite um, way to attach a crossbody bag, but it works for this one. And I can understand why they did it that way, because I think if they did from end to end, like this, the bag would kind of curl up like that. So I understand why they did attach it that way. Oh, this is also another top rated. My last Kipling video, I talked about the Kipling Keefe and Kara. Those are top rated bags, like some of Kipling's most popular bag styles. This one, in my research at least, seems like it was also, and is also a top rated style from Kipling. So while she's full, I'll go ahead and try it on. So it is fully packed right now, and you see this is what it looks like. So it is a bigger base and it does stick out a little bit, but it is very small this way. So it's not hefty. It is extremely, extremely lightweight of a bag. Um, and I think it's really flattering too. And you'll see that it does taper. So even though it's bigger at the top, you'll see it does taper in or bigger at the bottom rather, sorry. It tapers in at the top. So that's what that looks like. And then if you're wearing it like as a satchel on the crook of your arm, that's what it looks like. Or if you, you know, carry it at your hip. And then if you wanna carry it as a shoulder bag, that is absolutely possible with the adjustable strap. The strap is also removable and it swivels case you're interested. And this is what it looks like as a shoulder bag. I'm 5'2", and I feel like it falls at a really nice spot. You know, it can tuck right underneath your arm. You can push it back. You can also carry it like this if you want to. But my, I realized after trying so many bags from so many different brands, my favorite type of bag is, for every day at least, is a crossbody bag. Um, I, I still love small backpacks, you know, as everyday bags, and I, there's all different other kinds of bags in my collection, totes, large backpacks, uh, duffels, things like that, but my favorite type of bag for everyday use will and always has been a crossbody bag, so that's why most of my reviews are on uh, small to medium sized crossbodies, because that's what I use every day. Okay, so now for more of the features and what's in my bag portion. We do have these two nice short grab handles. I love it when Kipling wraps the top in this pleather, and you'll see that it says, a little hard to read there, but it does say Kipling with the monkey on it. Like I said earlier, this is a pre-loved bag, so the straps do have a little bit of wear damage there, um, which is fine. It came to me very clean, but I mean, you could tell, you know, the, the fabric is a little bit wrinkly. Again, I did wash it, so um, yeah, not a big deal. The stitching is all nice, none of the stitching is falling apart. It looks really good in that sense. Okay, for the first compartment here on the front side. So we have this big compartment and you'll notice that this compartment has its own gusset of about two inches. Um, well, yeah, almost two inches I would say. If you flatten it, it looks like it's about two inches there. And inside of this compartment, we have a zippered pocket, and you'll see the, the Kipling zipper pull in there. And this is also where I like to put my phone, which is the iPhone 11. And that fits perfectly down in that compartment, and you'll see that it takes up the space nicely. And here's what it looks like in the front with my phone. So you can barely see it from this, the top. You can see it a little bit at the bottom there. But that is the perfect place for my phone. I should also note that there is nothing to close these compartments. They are open compartments. There's no hidden magnet, no magnetic snap, no zipper. It's just an open compartment. So just be aware of that. And that is where the straps, the, the grab handles are connected. I've had no problem with my phone falling out. Now I assume if this spilled over or if you had it upside down for any reason, your phone is gonna fall out of those, you know, if you put it in these open compartments. But that, to me, it's more imp important to me to have like a quick grab place for my phone. And if I am, you know, say if I am being super active and I'm ever worried about it falling out, which I'm not, I would just put it in the zipper compartment. So it's not a big deal. But yes, there is a zipper pocket on the back and it is one of those pockets that is not attached at the bottom. So if you want it to flip out, it will. And so just for video purposes, I'll have it flip out so you can see inside of it. 
Um, and just the only things I have in there right now are coupons. So it's the perfect place for like flat items like that. Um, if you have feminine products, great place for that. But honestly, you could stuff whatever you want in there and not worry about bulk because you have all of that space right here for items. And you can put other items just in the main part of it. Let's go to the, the compartment that's in the very back. It's almost like a triple compartment bag if you think of it. But most of your capacity, of course, is going to be in the main zipper. So here is the back compartment. And yes, we have additional organization here. We have two pen slips and then an open slip pocket. And I have my chapstick in there. And also in the main part, I just have my mask. And I also sometimes throw my phone back here because these this front and back compartment are the same exact size. They have the same exact um, measurements there. Okay, oops, sorry about that. Now for the main interior. And look how this bag just fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. It's a really, really good sized bag. So if you open up the main interior, look at this. I have the bag stuffed. I mean, you could get more in there. I definitely feel some slack in the bag. It's not like it's so packed that there's no flexibility. There is definitely room if you really wanted to, to fit more. So built in organization wise, you do have a large zipper pocket on the back. There is no additional pockets or organizations on the front wall, but they gave you enough in the other compartments that that makes up for it. So in this zipper pocket, I just have my usual zipper pocket stuff and you'll see it's a pretty thick pack back there. The only thing I'm missing is my pepper spray. And the reason why I'm missing it is because I've switched bags so many times that I think it is still in, it's either still in the Keef or it's in um, another Kipling bag that I was trying out briefly when I got it the other day. It just needs to be, I need to wash it. I was just packing it to see like how things fit and to make sure I like it. And uh, so it's probably still sitting in that bag. I just need to go back in there and get it. And um, that bag I am going to do a review on too sometime, but Anyway, that's what's in the back pocket. There's uh, feminine products, notebook, gum, hair pick, hair tie, things like that. And then as for the main, we've got some antibacterial wipes, my, uh, some of my receipts, and um, my vaccination card is in there. We've got tissues, lotion. AirPods, hand sanitizer, which I could clip on the outside here, but it's there's so much room inside that I feel good about putting it in there. And this one, it's supposed to come with a monkey, but it didn't. And I do have a black monkey I could clip to this, but you guys know me, I'm not really a huge bag charm person. Um, also have my sunglasses in there. This is the Creativity Mini in Fig Purple, also by Kipling, and this is my wallet, and I also have keys attached. And then here, the last few things inside are three new Vera things. So, or at least new, yeah, new to me Vera. So I'll take a little bit of time to talk about these. This is a brand new product from Vera Bradley. This is the uh, AirPods Bag Charm or Bag Charm for AirPods, I think is the exact name. So if you go on verabradley.com today and search that, this will come up, this item will come up in two different patterns. This is Hope Blooms, this year's. A breast cancer pattern. There's also Hope Bloom's pink. And then the other pattern is their Christmas plaid pattern. So I went uh, to my signature store and to my nearest outlet store last weekend and I just got a couple small things and this was one of the small things that I got for my signature store. So here's the funny thing about this. Vera Bradley came out with, I can't remember if it was last year, I think it was the year before last, but they came out with two patterns also for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which was Pretty Posies and Pretty Posies Pink. I have a soft eyeglasses case in Pretty Posies and a large Vera tote in Pretty Posies Pink. I do not really like Pretty Posies, the gray version, but I love the pink version. Now this year, Vera Bradley came out with Hope Blooms and then Hope Blooms Pink. And those four patterns are very similar in the way they look. You know, the, the Pretty Posies and Hope Blooms has the gray background with florals, and then Pretty Posies Pink and Hope Blooms Pink have the pink black background with florals and, and things. So they're very all very similar, 
The funny part is, is that I like the gray version. I, I like this better than Pretty Posies, but I like Pretty Posies pink better than Hope Bloom's pink. So it's kind of weird because I don't know. But I, what I really like about this is that I love the way that they did the flowers here um, versus um, Pretty Posies. And actually, if you excuse me for just a second, I can go grab Pretty Posies and show you the difference real quick. Okay, so my Pretty Posies pink tote is like stored away, so it'd take me more than a few seconds to pull that out. But this is what I'm talking about. The grays are different. This gray has a little more blue in it. And also the lighting is making it look a little darker than it is, but um, they're very similar. And they're both for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is very beautiful, don't get me wrong, I like this pattern. But I just didn't didn't like it enough to get anything else in it, so I just have this. Um, and these are kind of something I like to collect, these uh, double soft eyeglasses cases. So I did pick this up. But I like the floral illustrations in Hope Blooms so much more. I also like this gray background more. Again, this does have some blue-green in the, the gray. Um, it's weird because it almost looks blue. Um, in real life. It looks a little more, it's showing up a little colder on camera, but it, it almost looks blue in real life. Whereas this is like a true medium, medium gray, maybe even a, like a medium dark gray. But look at the, look at the illustrations and the florals. Like, I like how delicate these are. These are a little more like, and not to knock this pattern, because this is, this is beautiful, but this is a little more cartoonish. I like the soft lines of this one and how some of the flowers don't even have lines. They're just, I don't know. I, I just love that so much more than Pretty Posies. But again, I like Pretty Posies pink, so the pink version of this, better than Hope Bloom's pink. So it's kind of weird. Hope Bloom's pink is also beautiful, but just preference, right? Back to the case. Uh, they had lots to choose from in Hope Bloom's, these AirPods cases, and I picked what I thought was the best pattern placement. So these flowers can be spaced a little bit farther apart. So, you know, when you're getting a really small item, I mean, look at it in comparison to this, like this is teeny. And I love what Vera is making these because you can use these for all kinds of things, which I'm gonna talk about here in a second. But yeah, pattern placement can vary, of course. But I love the orange flower and that's kind of sage green with the leaves there. And then I love that pink, like that pink and that purple, and then this shade of pink. I just think that color pink on the background is beautiful. And I love this little red-orange swirl back there. Very, very pretty. So yeah, this is the AirPods case. I decided to go ahead and it did come with a carabiner. I took it off, it is removable. And I'm using this as a mask pouch. So I do have a cloth mask in here. It does not have the bendable nose wire and it does not have adjusters. So it was really easy to fold up and put in one of these elastics. And then they do give you another elastic so you can put like, you know, AirPods and then wired headphones over here. But just to show you, um, even with the, I have a case on my AirPods here, but even with the case on it, you do have to use two hands, but it fits in there and so. So here's my logic with this. I love that Vera made this and I'm glad that they made like an AirPods bag charm carrier. But to me, I would much rather have a nice plastic case on my headphones and just throw them in my bag because they're just a lot more accessible that way. And I do find it not, I don't want to use the word hassle because it's not a hassle, but at the same time, it's a little more time consuming to have to unzip this and then open the case and then take my AirPods out and do that every time, whereas just flipping this open and grabbing them is a lot easier to me. So that's why this is gonna be a mask pouch slash tech pouch slash hand sanitizer pouch because if you have the uh, pocket backs from Bath and Body Works, they fit in here effortlessly and it will close. It's obviously thick because I have the mask in there, but it fits in there perfectly. So I will also use it for that 
I hope Vera Bradley continues making these in new patterns because this is the type of item that I love when Vera Bradley makes these types of things. I think they're just so useful. Very smart. I really hope that they make cases like this someday. This is like a plastic case. I And I found this off of Amazon if you're curious. They're like $6.99 or $8.99 or something. I bought this like a year ago. But they, they are still on Amazon. I checked. And I feel like my, my AirPods are really protected in there. Stupidly enough, I, I have dropped this in the sink before. I don't know how that happened, but I, it did happen. And it did not damage the AirPods whatsoever because they are really protected in there. And by the way, the, just to let you know, this is the case. This case goes over top of the, the plastic. So let me... um. So here's the actual case from Apple, and then this just goes over it, and same with the top. So yeah, I just like that better for, for those. But this is perfect for my extra mask, my backup mask, and I can fit two of these masks in here. It is a little thick when closing, but it works. It does work. So anyway, that's the Bag Charm for AirPods case in Hope Blooms. This is a current item. And then the other two items I wanted to go over are my favorite styles, styles from the Vera Bradley factory outlet stores. And those are their coin purses. These are my favorite items to get, especially on clearance, which these items were on clearance. So they were about $4 a piece. They are the best because these are some of the most multi-function, multi-purpose items that I've ever had. And to be quite frank, I like these coin purses better than the Signature Store coin purses because they are a little smaller and compact. And I feel like I can just, you know, fit these in more bags because, you know, they're more east-west. The other one's a little more like of a perfect square. So this is more like a rectangle shape with rounded corners. And I, I never, well, I do use the front pockets. I am using it on this one. But... I love that it has the front pocket, like aesthetically I like the look of it, and they, they just function really well. So these are two retired um, outlet patterns. This is one of my favorites. This is, um, oh my gosh, of course I would forget it. Not Mimosa Medallion. Is it Magenta Medallion? Oh my gosh, of course I forget. Um, bear with me for one second because I'm going to... I'm gonna look it up just to make sure I've got the right resort medallion. Okay. So this one is resort medallion, which is one of my favorite outlet prints. And I only have this item in it. But when I saw it, because every time I've been to that outlet, they never have this print. But then they had like a ton of smalls and clearance. So I couldn't find a zip ID in it, but they did have this one coin purse left. Love the placement front and back and then I think this one is called sun sunburst floral which funny enough I hated this when it came out and I still I don't like it in big items but I love it in this coin purse I think this is the, a nice swatch mainly because I just I'm not crazy about this these shades of pink back here but again on a small item I can appreciate it much more so this one in particular I'm using as like my, my little accessory pouch so I have like a nail file in the front pocket and actually y'all I took a pair of scissors because they cinch these pockets like this and so you can only open them like that wide but I went ahead and cut the thread so the pockets open all the way to each end because that's just more functional to me and I think the reason why they, they cinch these ends closed like that is so whatever you have in here doesn't fall out, but I mean, I just like it better, you know, having full access and it didn't damage anything. I just cut the thread holding this to this. So that's what I have in there. And then in the main pocket, I just have a pair of scissors cause you never know when you need those. And then a nail clipper. That's what the inside looks like. So that's one. And then the other one, and funny enough, this one is a little bit bigger. Then the sunburst floral. Let me line up the zippers here. So you can see that this one goes just a little bit farther than this one does. And I even realized that I could fit a little more in, in this one than this one. So interesting. So I did the same thing. I extended the pocket from side to side and there's nothing in there right now. 
I love the burgundy color. I this is like this is like heirloom paisley for me. So heirloom paisley on the signature side came out in 2017 is now retired is one of my all time favorite patterns. This is one of my all time favorite outlet patterns. I think painted paisley is still my number one from the outlet also retired. But this is one of my probably like top three top five favorites from the outlets. So you'll see that the zipper pulls are different too. It's another thing I wanted to point out. This one's the pleather and this one's the ribbon. For this, I prefer the pleather, just a personal preference. But inside of here, I have my little Vapo inhaler thing. And then I've got my usual, you know, oh, I got a floss pick and my little three pill cases in there. I'm trying to get the light, but it's kind of hard. So yeah, that is what I keep in this one. Again, love these. I actually bought a, Z a Zip ID too at the outlet that I don't have for the video, but we'll show it in another one. So yeah, love these items. Just wanted to take a little bit more time to go over those for my viewer fans watching. But here is the inside. It is like, it looks white on camera, but it's like almost like a robin's egg blue inside. It's coming out really like white, but it is like a robin's egg blue inside of there. Which is funny because these are like a tan white color. So yeah, yeah, look at that. There's the difference. And again, this is a pre-loved bag. There are a couple little red pen, mark, pen marks at the bottom there. Fine with me. Again, I washed it. It was already, it smelled clean. There was no like major errors with it when it came to me back in June. So I do throw my used bags through the wash at least one time um, before using. So otherwise this was in great condition. So I will go ahead and fill her back up here just so you can see one more quick look at how everything fits inside. Okay, I decided to get out of my tissue pouch because I wanted to use the coin purse for the other like stowaway items. Um, you know what? <laughs> That's funny. My tissues can fit in that front pocket, so I might just keep them in there. And plus, I've been using my tissue pouches for like eight months straight, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, use my use another coin purse because I really like those. Okay, so it's a little it's a little differently organized now, but that's what it looks like, and it is a great bag. So I've been using it for like the past two days because I've been in like the key fall week pretty much, but. It's been great so far, the errands that I've run. It's been perfectly fine. So now to the bag comparison part. Thank you for you know listening and getting through all this video to get to this point. So let me go ahead and compare it to the Celestia Small, also by Kipling in black. So this is a newer style bag over here. So you'll see that the, yeah, I would say the nylon is about the same, if not exactly the same, but obviously this is, has a more used look to it because it's used. You can definitely fit more in this bag. It's taller. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. This one looks like, probably looks like it has more width too because these pockets flare out, but they, they suck in when there's nothing in them. So just keep that in mind. But this one has natural structure to it. I did fill it up with a few things just to make it, you know, stand a little bit taller without wrinkles but that's what it looks like. And then base to base, this is my favorite thing to do, show you the bases because they're, the base is what really makes the difference with bags. Um, go away, strap. Okay, so there we go. So obviously the Celestia at the bottom is longer, but the base, I believe the exact measurements, this is, well, this is definitely six. I just looked it up. With the Celestia, I'm pretty sure this is five inches or 4.75, something like that. So let me get a better grip on this one so I can do like a side by side. It's hard to do it without my fingers getting in the way, you know, but that's, so yeah, if we line these two up or maybe, yeah, line it up at the bottom. Yeah, this one has like another inch and a quarter maybe on this one. Again, going this direction. This is longer than this one. So yeah, that's the Silesia Small. This is 
one of my favorite Kipling bags. Definitely like the top five favorite. I love this bag. Okay, so we're done with that one. Next, you guys know I love the Amoli satchel. This is in tile purple. I don't remember. But this is also a satchel. This is definitely smaller. You can fit a lot in this one though. So they almost look the same from the front, but boom, look at the side. They're about the same height, about. But this base is about the size of this base. Remember, you have these two extra compartments here that are game changers. So this is a struggle for me, obviously. There we go. So yeah, it looks like the, the Amoli might be a little bit, let me get a good grip on this so I can try to move my hand. The Amoli might be just as long, maybe just a hair longer, but the actual like width, again, going this way, the sugar is definitely bigger. She definitely fits more too. So there's that one. Let's go to the Keef or the Keefy. I still don't know how it's pronounced. Love this bag. Every single bag, Kipling bag that I'm showing you are my top favorites. The only one that's missing from this group that is my top favorite is the Angie. Because I just didn't feel like the Angie was the most comparable bag in this case, um, base-wise. Because the base is really small on the Angie. But here's the Keefy. Love the rounded top. Looks like a little egg. Here's the side. So this base, on the website, it says up to five inches. To me, this is a little more like maybe 4.75. I think I measured it last week. I can't remember. Um, but it is saying five inches this way. This one is six inches. So when we stack the two. So again, this one compartment is getting a little squished, right? Because there's not much in there. Um, yeah, I would say that's about right. This one's obviously bigger this way, but they're very close. You can get a ton in here. It doesn't look like you can, but you can. One of my favorites, again. Okay. And last but not least for the comparison, one of my favorite bags, again. This is the Alexios. And it, the, it's looking a little bit bottomed out, only because on the inside, I have a book. I was running out of stuff to fill it up with, so I just put a book in there. Um, in the, the Kifi, I have... A lug round trip set and a coop filling up that one and this one I just have and these two I just have random pouches for my large Vera so anyway here's the Lexios she is a north-south baddie so she is real cute real tall again it's bottoming out just because I have a book in there so ignore that bit of it but I just wanted you to see the base that's really all that I really wanted you to see is the difference in the base so this one is a lot smaller. Um, I think this one is like maybe three inches, 2.75, something like that. But yeah, just want to show you that the base is massive on this one. Out of all the bags that I just showed you though, the one that is going to fit the most is the Silesia. Um, because I have all the same stuff in that bag before and there was a ton of room to spare. This one is almost full with everything that I have in it, with some room to spare. Um, so in order of fitting most to fitting the least, go the Silesia, the Sugar. Um, ooh, it's a, it's a tie between the Lexios and the Keef. I think the, the, the Keef would probably fit more. Then the Alexios, then the Amoli last. So that has been my review, what's in my bag in comparison of the old style Kipling sugar bag in black. Thank you so much for your patience throughout this video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.